Hey, uh, Kareem, check this out, man. Boom. Look at that. Output. Whoa, this is awesome. Snackers, you want to learn how he just did that? Join us in the next episode of Snack Minute. Hey, Snackers, Matt DiNapoli here. I'm a manager of developer advocacy with the Cisco DevNet program. Hello, Snackers. This is Kareem Iskander. I'm a developer advocate with Cisco DevNet. Welcome to episode 14 of DevNet Snack Minutes. Uh, if you're new to DevNet Snack Minutes, it is your weekly 10-minute all things DevNet, where we teach you about some cool things around coding, APIs, or just some interesting stuff that you might want to know. We do this running um, episode where we cover some dev tools and that we learn throughout our day-to-day -day job or we learn that we think that you might be, um, we might benefit from it. Um, in today's episode, Matt is going to cover Rich API. Matt, why don't you tell us about what Rich API is? Um, so I was looking for a tool to make my output from my Python scripts really look nice. You know, we build a lot of demo applications and we build a lot of um, sample code or we do demos while we're walking through a lot of stuff. And um, sometimes it's hard for people to see what's going on when it's just white text and um, it looks kind of crazy. And so I was poking around um, our blogs and our, our colleague Stuart Clark actually wrote a really good blog about um, leveraging the power of Python in the community. And he talks about a number of different tools in there. Um, but the one that uh, really jumped out at me, uh, and I use that as pun intended because um, it really makes your output from a, a Python script really look nice on the console. And so uh, it's called Rich API. And it was, um, it's, put out there by a gentleman named Will McGugan. Um, and it's a fully documented uh, library that you can bring into your Python applications to make everything look really nice. Um, so we have the documentation available and um, he was kind enough to make it open source so you can grab that on GitHub. That's awesome, Matt. And this is different, completely different than pretty print in, in Python, right? This is just a standalone library that you bring in. Yeah, it's exactly. It's a standalone library. And I'm going to kind of show you what it looks like when um, you start to employ some of the things. And I'm just going to scrape the service. It's actually a pretty powerful library. Um, and so uh, right now, you know, because I live in the Meraki world, I'm going to do a little Meraki uh, demonstration. And so um, right now, all we're doing is just uh, running and getting a list of organi organizations from the Meraki API. And so it's going to run that. And as you can see here, um, you know, the, the output that comes back is, you know, it's readable, but it's all white. And so uh, what we can do is we can start to add in um, some really nice uh, uh, formatting for that using the uh, Rich uh, library. So I'm going to import the print uh, statement from Rich. And this is, you know, as simple as it gets. Um, and that's what makes it crazy powerful. Um, so check this out. Boom. Um, now everything's in green, it's all formatted nicely, and it looks fantastic, right? Wait, so hold on, hold on. So that's it? You just imported Rich and yeah. and you called it you called it print and and it just uses the, the native print statement to edit everything, to, to nicely pop up everything. Yeah, it overrides the native print statement. So you don't if we bring it in, you'll automatically get this really cool formatted uh, stuff. And then obviously there's arguments that you can put into the print statement to change the colors and, you know, change formatting as, as needed and um, make it look, you know, super awesome. Just pip install rich. Mm -hmm. It's a library pip install rich. Um, and I think uh, it supports at least three, six and above uh, for Python. Um, so all the stuff I'm going to show you covers, you know, the last three-ish, four-ish years of Python, which is is fantastic. Um, but I'm gonna I'm gonna show you one more thing. So sit tight. You're really gonna like this one because we work with a lot of kind of networking equipment and um, networking data. It's always kind of helpful to have that stuff be parsed out and um, nice and viewable, right? And so what I'm gonna do is show you how quick and easy it is to to generate a table um, and uh, your I'm telling you right now, your mind's going to be blown. So I did, you know, I did pre-build the code here, but, uh, you know, just in a few lines of code, we're going to be uh, generating a table. Um, I'm going to pull out the names, IDs, and URLs of 
uh, the organizations that I'm working with, and then I'm going to create rows and then print that out. So um, check this out, dude. This is so cool. Think. Let that run. And oh. voila, we have this is our printouts. Good. I know, right? <laughs> it's super easy. And the funny thing was, um, you know, I, I figured out how to do this. The documentation was so good. I had this up and running in about four minutes. Um, so really cool way to, like you said, you know, make our make our Python uh, output really pop. This is wonderful, Matt, and it's pretty. I, actually, I don't even know why I would uh, be using the regular print statement, the 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 native print statement from now on. I would just be importing this library in all of my projects. It's just super clean. Yeah, that's so cool, right? All right, snackers. Uh, that's all the time we have. Um, thank you, Kareem, uh, and uh, we'll, we'll get you guys next time.